When I was in Bhutan, I met a kid who was making a toy and seemed very happy. I asked him, why are you so happy? He said, I'm happy because I can make toys and share with other people. His simple answer has since stuck in my mind. As we are transitioning into another new year, I thought we should discuss a meaningful topic, happiness. Bhutan is a landlocked country tucked in the Himalayas mountains, and only a handful of pilots are certified to fly the plane into Bhutan due to its geographical difficulties. While I'm on my way to pursue every country in the world, I discover this small but memorable country. It's memorable because I learned about the philosophy of happiness a topic that every generation is trying to figure out in the human history. I also learned how Bhutan uses GNH gross national happiness as the country's most important measurement instead of GDP, and make the balance of economic growth and happiness possible. After my Bhutan trip, I thought to myself, what is happiness really? I observed the people around me Happiness often comes with condition, if, then, condition. If we buy the pair of shoes, we'll be happy. If we can travel to the country, we'll be happy. If we get the job promotion, we'll be happy. If we have more money, then we'll be happy. If, then, if, then. There are always a lot of conditions associated with happiness. We are only happy if we are satisfied with certain conditions. But what if you didn't buy that pair of new shoes, didn't travel to that place, didn't have that much money, would you not be happy? And even if you got all of those, will you still be happy after a year? When your new shoes are no longer new, when you've been to all the places you wanted to visit, then what's next? If that's what you define as happiness, then happiness is just a temporary emotion in these situations. If you don't continue to maintain that feeling, it won't last long. When I was in Bhutan, I tried to understand what happiness means to them. I met a local and he told me, happiness means being satisfied with what you have. It's human nature that we are never satisfied. The goal of GNH is try to be satisfied. As I observed during my time in Bhutan, I had never heard any local ever complain about anything. As I think about all these countries that I've visited or lived in, complaint is almost like a daily routine in many people's life. They are not happy in their life because they are not satisfied. I also read some psychology study that there are three levels of happiness. The first level is about our emotions, which we talked about earlier on, like joy or anxiety. The second level refers to our self-realization and perception about our life in the long term. And the third level is about finding meaning in life. I think many Bhutanese in general are not at the first level of happiness, which is about emotions, that are linked to the material stuff, then the question comes to why? In my opinion, one potential reason is that they are more isolated and laid in the globalization game, which makes them less aware of the material world. Personally, I've gone through the stage of thinking that the emotion of being happy is happiness. For example, when I graduated from school, I tried so hard to pay off my student loans I thought once I pay them off, then I will be happy. I was trapped into the game of if then. Then when I achieved financial independence at my early age, I found I was still not happy. Then I continued to search the next level of happiness. I travel around the world, explore new things, new philosophy, then finally found a country that I really love to live in for the long term. In the past few years living in Singapore, I found I've never been so happy in my life. That kind of happiness is not a high maintenance happiness, 
it's not a condition-based happiness. Like, if I have that, then I'll be happy. But it's truly the state of mind that makes me calm and content. For example, I mentioned this in my other Singapore video. If you haven't watched that, feel free to watch it after this video. I was just simply going around the neighborhood and discover a hidden gem graffiti art on a random street and I was so delighted. Like any small thing would bring me joy because I'm truly happy about my life in general without the need of being stimulated by owning certain things. And as I explore the world more and more, I've also been doing some volunteer work in developing countries like Nepal, Madagascar, Tanzania, Jamaica, and so on. Although I've been doing it on a small scale, I feel being able to help others is quite satisfying. Like thinking something beyond just yourself, but at the human level or the universe level. And I think this is a perfect transition for us to talk about the third level of happiness, which is about fulfillment of human potentials. The fact that Bhutan is the biggest Buddhist country in the world makes the nation very spiritual. I'm not very familiar with Buddhism, but I know that wisdom, kindness, patience, generosity, and compassion are the core Buddhist virtues. I also observed that Bhutanese love to help others and share the joy with the community. Like the little kid I first mentioned at the beginning of this video, how he found his joy by sharing his toy with other people and these virtues, kindness, generosity, compassion are the keywords that are linked to the third level of happiness, which is all about realizing the fulfillment of human potentials. Through the pursuit of happiness, I realized that true happiness comes from within. There's nothing from external environment that can take your true happiness away from you. You own your happiness, and you are the only factor for your own happiness. And I'm sure, as long as you never give up and continue to search for your own happiness, someday you'll find it. These are my own takes on happiness. Let me know if you find them helpful. If you know any of your friends or family may be beneficial from this, please do share this video with them. And if you want to be happy in life, reach your goals in career or school, join my counseling at kksuccess.com. I'll also put some more information in the description box. If you enjoyed this check, do give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell if you want to receive my weekly update. My channel is about world culture, philosophical and social topics. I wish you find your own happiness in life and let's chat more at the comment section below. Bye-bye.